did all the troubleshooting, the research. This is what I came up with. This was my problem. The little screen that normally is supposed to keep debris and crap out of your sensors, well, when that breaks, it becomes something that will clog your port. And basically what it did, it looks like it uh, get closer there you can see it there it basically jammed the damn um, valve so that it would not close or open or do anything else so one thing they did they've made it very difficult for us general mechanics to fix our own shit but at least they came up with a tool the trouble code tool that kind of helps you figure out where the problem's at otherwise you could see you'd be years trying to figure out what the hell is wrong with your vehicle nowadays but this is my problem I'm gonna replace this bad boy uh, I'll check the price I think they're hovering around a hundred bucks or so but I may just replace the other one because I do like my F1 50 uh, 2004 I like to keep it because I'm not that crazy about the other stuff they got out there. But if it tells you it's the banks, and it was told me the bank it was in, uh, which is Bank 2, which is on the driver's side, um, that appears to be what it was. So, save you a lot of time. It's a little bit of work. You don't have to pull the valve covers, you just have to move the reservoir on that side. Now if here's some guys they've taken all that stuff off. No, just move the reservoir. It's a whole lot less time than pulling all that other stuff off and just to get to this bad boy. It is the mechanical brains of the uh camshaft. sensor or one of them the other one is a CMP that's the actual air code that you get but it's uh, when this bad boy goes bad then apparently the air codes read from the CMP so the CMP is kind of telling you that hey there's something wrong down there in the VCT solenoid or that area, the VCT. So you kind of have to still kind of do some troubleshooting before you go tearing the old engine apart. But the um, VCT, which stands for Variable Camshaft Timing System. So that's a whole setup. But this is the part that regulates the oil, which in turn. very important piece it goes bad that's the part that went bad as you can see screen all stuck up in there that would cause a problem since that's supposed to slide and close you know, apparently it will not close if there's a piece of screen stuck up in there very clearly and just broke off broke off of that it broke off from there and lounged up in the injector so yeah that will put a hurt on uh, stopping this from uh, doing what it's supposed to do which is to slide forward or backward or close or open or close uh, if it will not close it will be stuck open and thank goodness that error code came up to kind of tell you that something's going on 
but that's my issue. Uh, hope it helps. Um, like I said, these aren't cheap, but they're a whole lot cheaper than a, somebody telling you that you need to replace the whole engine for it. So. And there's the culprit. As you can see, there's the screen. That's supposed to keep the debris out. Uh, it's dead. That bad boy obviously broke off in there. Uh, apparently that happens. You can see the little piece missing there. Um, I haven't bought a new one yet, but I guess these are open. There's a couple open, and then they have the screens on the other two, but you can clearly see that piece of screen right there. Uh, that piece of screen right there is missing and that's what's jammed up in the injector so it told me what it was and thank god that's what it was I don't want to take it at dealer so they can tell you it's four thousand dollars for a new engine I've heard that story too <laughs>